started work this morning, put my headset on, felt something furry in my ear, looked and there is a bat in my headset. As someone who works in healthcare, I advise you to seek medical attention now. If my word isn't enough I can ask the attending. After humans, bats are a vector for the most diseases in mammals. It's not just rabies it's so much more. Seek immediate medical attention. Bats only do crap like this when they are sick. Bats carry rabies very frequently. Rabies has a 100% mortality rate. Yes, absolutely go to a doctor. That's not normal. Absolutely get checked for rabies. I know that you probably feel well and just feel like winging it, but on the off chance something does happen. Nearly 100% of rabies infections end in death when not treated early enough. Do you really wanna take a chance on something that absurdly deadly? You don't really get checked for rabies. They don't run a test on you and say oh, yup, it's rabies. Let's begin treatment. First the bat needs to be killed and tested, and if that's not possible, exposure in this case must be reasonably assumed. 100% assumed if the person was asleep, and the shots are needed either way. Yeah I would have it captured and tested for rabies. If it's long gone, I think you get preemptively treated, although I dk what the typical guidelines are in your country. I'm an emergency doctor, and I also had a rabies scare a few years ago. Legit you need to seek medical attention. Go to your nearest emergency department and get someone to check you over to make sure you don't have any breaks in the skin. If there's something even slight, then you will probably need rabies shots, which they can sort out for you. If you still have the bat, then the public health unit can test the bat for rabies too to see if it's infected. If it isn't then you won't need the shots. Rabies kills everyone it infects. Rabies shots can reduce the chances of death quite a lot to almost zero. It's not a risk I'd want to take myself. OP is not going to die. He was briefly in contact with a common pipistrelle bat, which is not known to carry EBLV. He didn't get bitten. EBLV in the UK is incredibly rare, and even then is largely found in two of our 18 species, both of which very rarely come into contact with people. This armchair army hyperbole is incredibly unhelpful, and damaging to bat conservation efforts in the UK. How many bats do you think are going to get killed as a result of it, given how widely shared this post has become? Remember, all bats in the UK are protected against killing, injury and disturbance. There are fines up to £5,000 per bat if an offence is caused. If you find a bat and you are concerned about its welfare, please contact the Bat Conservation Trust helpline for advice. Jesus. My cat caught a bat, and it was still alive. I picked it up, petted it, then took it outside and it flew off. This was about 30 years ago. I'm in the UK so I guess I'm okay but yikes. These comments made me nervous. You need a rabies shot. The odds are really good that you don't have it, and that the bat wasn't rabid. But rabies is so freaking scary you don't want to risk it even if it was one in a trillion. It could lay dormant for 10, 20 years even. Get one. Now. OP I cannot stress this enough. Go immediately to the hospital or doctors and tell them that you may have been in contact with a bat. Not may have, he was in contact with a bat. Absolutely get a rabies shot immediately. No joke. You could get rabies from a scratch so tiny you can't see it, and if you then don't get the shot within a day or so, you're 100% dead in about a week. Have you considered that maybe the bat fell out of your ear into the headphones? You might have a whole ecosystem in that cavernous head of yours. It's great that you're taking the possibility of rabies seriously. It's probably the worst way to die out there. I'd rather burn or drown to death tbh. Also, if you were exposed to rabies it's important to note that in most cases it takes weeks or months for symptoms to appear. But a possible head bite is different. The virus follows the nerves to the brain. Once it gets to the brain it's game over for you. No treatment will save you. A bite to a finger or toe would take weeks. A bite to your ear would be much much faster. Their teeth are so small you won't even feel it most likely. Most people are bit in their sleep and don't even wake up. If they don't see the bat later and seek treatment, they'd never know they even had the virus until symptoms show, which by then it would be too late. When they give you the vaccine make sure they give you a rig shot as well. 
The rig shot is designed to boost your immune system against the virus immediately. The regular shots take like 1 or 2 weeks to fully protect you. With a possible ear bite you most certainly need the rig as well. Source, went through this whole process myself last year. Like other commenters are saying, it would be wise to seek medical attention. But to offer another explanation, apparently early fall is when bat pups are first starting to fly. They're not really good and easily confused. Judging by the size of this guy, that may be how he ended up in your office. Don't listen to these idiots telling you to get a rabies shot. You're totally fine. Reddit loves playing doctor even though all they have to their name is a ged. Please for the love of all that's holy get a rabies shot. I've heard so many stories of people getting a small bite or scratch and not knowing it. You don't start to feel symptoms until it's too late. It's worth the shot just in case. It's sad, and I love little mammals as much as anyone, but you need to take the little guy to get tested for rabies. The test will kill him. This is odd behavior, and the risk is not worth letting him go. I know I'm echoing everyone else advising to get a rabies shot, but please do. The amount of time it takes for rabies to become fatal is entirely dependent on how close to the brain the virus is introduced. Get infected through a wound on your toe you've got 6 moss one year. A scratch on your ear? Significantly shorter. My niece's husband brings home bats he finds in the roofs of houses he works on. It scares me how senseless is. He does it because she thinks they are cute. Get the rabies shot. I know it sucks but bat bites are lackluster to put it well. You may have been bit and don't know. If symptoms start showing, you are dead. If you live in some place where rabies is still a problem be careful. Otherwise enjoy but be a little bit careful. Their bites can be so small as to go unnoticed. And rabies is almost universally fatal. I would definitely run this past a healthcare expert in your area. Where I am from. A friend had a similar encounter and was advised to get the vaccine. Is no one going to post the rabies text? Rabies is scary. Rabies. It's exceptionally common. But people just don't run into the animals that carry it often. Skunks especially. And bats. Let me paint you a picture. You go camping. And at midday you decide to take a nap in a nice little hammock. While sleeping. A tiny brown bat, in the rage stages of infection is fidgeting in broad daylight, uncomfortable, and thirsty, due to the hydrophobia, and you snort, startling him. He goes into attack mode, except you'll sleep, and he's a little brown bat, so weighs around 6 grams. You don't even feel him land on your bare knee, and he starts to bite. His teeth are tiny, hardly enough to even break the skin. But he does manage to give you the equivalent of a tiny scrape that goes completely unnoticed. Rabies does not travel in your blood. In fact, a blood test won't even tell you if you've got it. Antibody tests may be done, but are useless if you've ever been vaccinated. You wake up, none the wiser. If you notice anything at the bite site at all, you assume you just lightly scraped it on something. The bomb has been lit, and your nervous system is the wick. The rabies will multiply along your nervous system doing virtually no damage, and completely undetectable. You literally have no symptoms. It may be 4 days, it may be a year, but the camping trip is most likely long forgotten. Then one day your back starts to ache, or maybe you get a slight headache. At this point, you're already dead. There is no cure. The sole caveat to this is the Milwaukee Protocol, which leaves most patients dead anyway, and the survivors mentally disabled, and is seldom done. There's no treatment. It has a 100% kill rate. Absorb that. Not a single other virus on the planet has a 100% kill rate. Only rabies. And once you're symptomatic, it's over. You're dead. So what does that look like? Your headache turns into a fever. And a general feeling of being unwell. You're fidgety. Uncomfortable. And scared. As the virus that has taken its time getting into your brain finds a vast network of nerve endings. It begins to rapidly reproduce, starting at the base of your brain, where your pons is located. This is the part of the brain that controls communication between the rest of the brain and body, as well as sleep cycles. Next you become anxious. You still think you have only a mild fever, 
but suddenly you find yourself becoming scared, even horrified, and it doesn't occur to you that you don't know why. This is because the rabies is chewing up your amygdala. As your cerebellum becomes hot with the virus, you begin to lose muscle coordination and balance. You think maybe it's a good idea to go to the doctor now, but assuming a doctor is smart enough to even run the tests necessary in the few days you have left on the planet, odds are they'll only be able to tell your loved ones what you died of later. You're twitchy, shaking, and scared. You have the normal fear of not knowing what's going on, but with the virus really fricking the amygdala this is amplified a hundredfold. It's around this time the hydrophobia starts. You're horribly thirsty, you just want water, but you can't drink. Every time you do, your throat clams shut and you vomit. This has become a legitimate, active fear of water. You're thirsty, but looking at a glass of water begins to make you gag and shy back in fear. The contradiction is hard for your hot brain to see at this point. By now, the doctors will have to put you on IVs to keep you hydrated. But even that's futile. You were dead the second you had a headache. You begin hearing things, or not hearing at all as your thalamus goes. You taste sounds. You see smells. Everything starts feeling like the most horrifying acid trip anyone has ever been on. With your hippocampus long under attack, you're having trouble remembering things, especially family. You're alone, hallucinating, thirsty, confused, and absolutely, undeniably terrified. Everything scares the little crap out of you at this point. These strange people in lab coats. These strange people standing around your bed crying. Who keep trying to get you drink something and crying. And it's only been about a week since that little headache that you've completely forgotten. Time means nothing to you anymore. Funny enough, you now know how the bat felt when he bit you. Eventually, you slip into the dumb rabies phase. Your brain has started the process of shutting down. Too much of it has been turned to liquid virus. Your face droops. You drool. You're all but unaware of what's around you. A sudden noise or light might startle you. But for the most part, it's all you can do to just stare at the ground. You haven't really slept for about 72 hours. Then you die. Always. You die. And there's not one. Freaking. Thing. Anyone can do for you. Then there's the question of what to do with your corpse. I mean, sure, burying it is the right thing to do, but the freaking virus can survive in a corpse for years. You could kill every rabid animal on the planet today, and if two years from now, some moist, preserved, rotten hunk of used to be brain gets eaten by an animal, it starts all over. So yeah, rabies scares the crap out of me, and it's freaking everywhere. Source, spent a lot of time working with rabies, would still get my vaccinations if I could afford them. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. Bye for now.